How to recreate this transition in Blender. For this, you will need the cover scene, a freehand model and CD. Create a simple rig for the hand, then position the fingers to hold the CD. Apply the rig to the hand and remove the vertex groups created by the first rig. Select the CD cover and rename it to Portal Cover. Add a box and planes around the CD for the wrap and stickers. For the wrap material, use a simple image texture with a generated bump map combined with a roughness map with fingerprints. For the stickers, use a black and white image with a paper-like roughness and bump texture. Join the hand and CD. Create a second rig with two simple bones for the movement of the forearm and wrist. Make sure the objects are in the correct vertex groups, paint if needed. Select the CD cover texture and add a portal BSDF. Screenshot and copy the setup. Adjust the scale to fit the size and ray direction of the view. Adjusting the position of the ray BSDF controls where in space your portal is looking at. In this case, you want it positioned in front of your cover. Animate the hand movement by keyframing the bone rotations and adjusting them in the graph editor. Animate the camera going in and out of the CD cover. Render the keyframes where the camera is inside and outside for the outer scene. Duplicate and position the camera in the inner cover scene and use the rendered frames as a guide. Animate the camera using camera to view, set the time frame and insert the position and location. Then fine-tune the movement using the graph editor. To add rays and glare, use the CT glare add-in by Chrome type. Render both scenes and combine them in video editing software like CapCut using opacity blending for a seamless transition. Make sure to like and subscribe for part 2 on how to recreate this cover scene.